Hi, I'm the Space Quest historian. And yes, my shaver broke. Maybe we should turn up the speed. As you may or not be able to tell from my voice, I am homesick. And what better way to pick up your spirits than by playing a round of Astro Chicken? Astro Chicken is the lovable little mascot of Space Quest 3. Although you may not know it, he's an integral part of the storyline. He's the little weasel that sets the whole thing in motion. What happens is, Roger is picked up by a garbage freighter manned by robots. Once he escapes that, he sets off basically just trying to get home. He stops by Monolith Burgers for a snack, and goes to play a video game. Now, the video game is really made by the two guys from Andromeda who are also the creators of the Space Quest series, in what is really just fucking weird. They've been captured by this evil software company called Scumsoft, really subtle there guys, and are forced to crank out mindless arcade games for a living. But they've left a secret message behind in this game, the Astro Chicken, and because you have nothing better to do, you're off to save their asses. That's the setup. Although I'm pretty sure most players just went like this. Yeah, you could just walk away from the machine, go about your merry way, and still beat the game, without ever knowing how or why you did so. The only penalty is a slightly lesser score and a profound sense of bewilderment throughout the entire game. And why is that? Well, it's because this little feathery bastard is just such a pain in the ass. The goal here is really simple. You just land the little fucker until the game decides you've endured enough agony and displays the hidden message. Everything but the pad means explosive death to the little astro, but the pad has special anti-chicken gravity that bounces you off every time you try to make a landing. So you have to flap like you've never flapped before to try and cancel out the anti-gravity and land safely without bouncing off the pad. Sounds easy, right? Trouble is, this thing is damn near impossible. Look at it. What's the first thing you remember from Adventure Gaming School 101 when you're faced with a difficult arcade sequence? You turn the speed down. But that just makes this even harder. No, you have to crank the speed and really get your trigger finger ready. I was never any good at this thing. I was one of those people who beat Space Quest 3 without any clue as to why I did it. And when the two guys showed up, I was like, hey, nice to see you. What's all this about then? But now, I'm ready to face my feathery demon, and see if I can't get this thing under wraps. Chicken wraps. Hmm. Now I'm hungry. No. Well, let's play. Oh, you little dick! Right, of course you need money to play the arcade machine. So, it's back to your ship, and off to the pretty and pink desert planet of Fleep Hut. Fester Blatz here takes the gem off your hands, but don't let him get away with murder. Say no three times. For no other reason than a slightly higher score. Now it's off to play the hell out of that chicken! Oh damn. Hi. How you doing? Um, this here's the Arnoid Annihilator. He's been following me since I escaped the trash freighter for reasons so complicated it's worth doing an entire episode on it alone. Or maybe not. Anyway. He has to be dealt with. 
And this is where you can have a bit of fun. Either you can grind him up in the gears, or feed him to these half-life looking things in the ceiling. Either way, this is all tremendous fun, but it's really just holding us up from what we're really here to do. Play some goddamn Astro Chicken. Right. Let's get on with this. strange thing happened. Suddenly the broken controls started to make sense, and the irritating music almost became like a looping mantra in my head. And suddenly I had this. I was gonna nail this son of a bitch. Ta-da! And here it is! Your reward in all its glory. Well, that's a... that's a bit disappointing, really. Here, let me get out my decoder ring. Oh, hell, I don't have time for this. Oh, well. At least that's Astro Chicken over with. Now we can get on with saving the two guys from Andromeda. Now, back onto the ship, drop the cloaking device from the moon pestilon, infiltrate the moon, walk around as a janitor for a bit, oh, hey, there's a stretch, rescue the two guys from their captivity in Jello, and... Oh. Oh. Hello. Um... This should be interesting. Oh no, not another arcade sequence. Hey, let's try Astro Chicken 2. Ha <laughs> ha 